back to the channel. Today we'll be doing the 2021 draft. And hopefully we should get something decent out of this. I've, I think I've six picks here, so we should at least get one player out of it useful. If you like what you're watching at the minute, don't be afraid to watch any of the rest of the series. There's a couple of playlists there. Out of her fourth save that just took in the season. It was, well, it didn't go well at the end, but sure, it seemed alright, good enough fun. And maybe watch the rest of the same LS save. And if you want to know when videos are, sorry, if you want to know when videos are being uploaded, please subscribe if you want. You know, if just takes a minute, it's easy to check. It means you're not searching for it all the time. So we're going ahead here now. We're just going to the draft, see how things work out. As I say, I think of six picks here. Just switch this view of the team being. See what happens? There we are. Scout stayed. Sort by of potential. And the ability. So, holy Christ, there's, there's a three star goalkeeper. We're not getting him, left. We're a right bit down the list, I think. I think we're 24th or something before we actually start. So. We'll skip their draft pick, see what see what we have. So see who else left. Draft it, draft it, draft it. Jack Manos. He's an unconscious. Sorry, Rafael Trevino, who's a defensive midfielder as well, I don't know. See this fellow Jack Manos, see what he looks like. Unconscious, advanced playmaker, right footed. Oh, looks alright actually. Even the Red Bull Academy. Two star, two and a half. Kind of five star player. Uh, let's see what else there is. Jonathan Flores is forward. Mike Gale was an advanced playmaker. Uh, he wouldn't be as good in the wing though. He's just biting out this central player. Don't really want that to be honest. If you want to gauge it, Potter at right back. Mm, one and a half star though. Mm, probably not that good. Mike Flanagan at centre back. Five foot ten. I don't know, they're going to be more of a left back. Left back. Uh, two Nick Nagan, he's gone. It's the One thing you. So I'm just trying to work out is there a way of actually filtering them by who has been drafted and who hasn't. It doesn't look like it, so just come back. Still think this guy Jack Monos would be a good pick. 16 determination, 15 off the ball, 12 vision. Hmm. I'll take him. So well. First pick done. Skip there next one. With we've a lot of picks, we've two quite near each other. I have two one behind the other here now, so we'll see what all's left. Uh, I'll not trust me assistant in that one, so I won't. See how Flores is still sitting. Potter, the right back, still sitting. Mike Flanagan, this left back, still sitting. Mm. Not of an Abram. You Kyashi Chinan. Japanese player. Winger, the other of it. Hmm. Twenty one looks alright. Looks like he could be alright. But Theodore. Patron Senna is an inverted winger on the right hand side. He's two star, he's guaranteed four, uh, actually, he's not guaranteed four star, but he's clear four star potential. So, hmm. Still say I need a right back, black, but we'll see if there's any about. I feel to be no. Alan Pollard, no. Greg Lee is a goalkeeper. Actually, that's something. Short by position, we'll look, look if there's any goalkeepers here, just while we're here. So, well. so Greg Lee is the pack builder of, of the goalkeepers. Other teams want them. We'll take them. So we'll, we'll take him. Take Greg Lee.
You know, I'll find him now, so I will just move one down here. 60 something Greg Lee, giraffe. Pick up Greg Lee, so I will. Or that Japanese fall out, we'll get him there. So I will. If I can find him again. Or I might not even, I might, might go and get it, try and get it right back. Chris Potter. Mm. Physically fine, but. We'll say him. Bukashi Shannon. Register Greg Lears. Not that I'm a pick him for some reason. Just not. Well, I'll just go by him then, so I will. Jack Correa is a deep down forward. Oh, no. Nah. Well, one, one that can actually have him. Where's he at? Jack Correa. There's the draft done. There's another pick. So, see who else left. Still hasn't picked up this key for some reason. I wonder what's wrong with him. Looks quite good to me. Maybe I'd turn him play up in there, like, but looks pretty good. So he does. Wonder what that my draft Greg Lee. No, it's not that my draft Greg Lee for some reason. Did the Adoro Potencia? Think of another pick. Oh Christ, I'm in all three. <laughs> I'm in all three picks to make here. <laughs> we'll have. I think all of us each is too old get. Make fun. I suppose now should. I probably should now start looking for a right back. Because then it's just what I come in to get. So it is. Megan's gone. He, he was the. Alex Morton's already two star. Mmm. Chris Potter and Alex Morton. It says Morton's better at the minute, but Potter, no, 21. They're both 21, so they are. Just trying to work through this here. He's got better work written, also, I'm actually going to take him. So, yeah. Skip to the next pack, just try and get another couple of hot prospects on the go. Make Yale, Potter. More calm. Centre forward. Looks alright actually. Mike Flanagan. Godwin Abram. A left back. Hmm. Dario Gaitan. He's a winger. Say they're footed. But a mercenary. Which I don't really mind actually. But. Just sort of flick through this here. To see who's left. Jack Lilvon Page. Mm. He's all gone. Just Peter Clarence in the wing. Defensive winger. Mm. On either side. Or either foot, it's fine. But he can only actually play on the right hand side. Mm. Mesa Felosi, who's Comorian. And. Reasonably good centre back actually, but take a flick down. So I think I uh, weed off at him. Jack the Perez, who was the big centre back in, in the whole draft, has went to Minnesota. So we'll, we'll try and see if there is any centre backs actually. Flanagan still sitting. Guillermo Cavones went to New York City. Mix of Felosi, Jack the Perez has went. Take Mike Flanagan, so well. And skip. A few players left here now. This is just going to be a hot prospect, probably. Whoever has been picked up. Mike Gale, Potter, Mark Ham, all these three. Hmm. 
See, that, that, that changes things. He's pretty young, but he might actually be able to become a deep land playmaker. So he might be. Whereas Dario Gaetan is just an inverted winger. Exactly, Von Page is another one. Rafael Trevino is a ball winner. Hmm. Not overly fit, so he isn't. Greg Lee. Who would actually have wanted, but doesn't seem to be able to pick him for some reason. But Martin Thompson, they've all been drafted. Musa Friosti. 17 determination, 16 leadership, 13 work rate. Physically pretty good though. Oh, I'm looking at the health reach. So 9, 12, 11, 10s. Hmm. Uh, take him at the end, so well. So, that's it, that's our drafted players. I don't think I got any generational leaders or anything, so we'll just have to sort of look at them. That's rejected. Get all these ones who are all breakthrough players, probably easier. So it will be. Korea is a centre forward. Potenza is a. No. Nah. Just. Well, these guys all in the reserve complex. So what? Well, No, that'll do. I just think he's on the Reddit to be honest with you, but maybe the coach will think something different. Korea is a he's a deep land forward from the times I used to play deep land forwards, which was about the middle of the last season. So, he potentially will lead in a minute, so he's a consistent performer. Guys, a competitive streak, don't really care about poor in the air. He just seems to be poor in the air, so he does. Other than that, seems fine, so. And Monos, Monos was the. Why this guy? It's a real hot prospect off the ball, so just trying to work out where I'd actually put him. You know, so there's he's in Gosh, but I don't play with one, so I suppose he's useful to have a right leg. Like, so he's looking minimum sort of contracts for his. Oh, senior minimum is lovely. Settle flat. So. Just to wrap up, there's all our players saying. Thanks for watching. Watch some of the more videos if you want. I think by the time this goes out, there will have been. Uh, sorry, I think by the time this goes out, I will have done the playoff video. So, which is probably the previous one. So, if you want to watch it, go on ahead. If you want to skip it. By all means, I understand it's over an hour long. I'm gonna, not going to lie to you. I didn't think what I got as far in the playoffs, whatever I was planned the video. So I just stuck with the original plan. But thanks for watching. If you like, if you like what you're watching, like the video, subscribe, whatever. All the raw crap YouTubers tell you to do. But thanks for watching and goodbye.